Hey guys, my name is Daniel. In this tutorial, I'll show you three different ways on how you can duplicate a page or a post that's created in Elementor. So in my case, I'll be duplicating a page which is actually created in Elementor. This is the page, it's a, a dinner menu. So I want to create a breakfast menu out of the same layout and design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my pages and just on the page that I want to duplicate, which is the dinner menu, I'm going to edit this page in Elementor, the original page. And then secondly, I'm going to create a new page and call it breakfast menu. Right, so I'm going to take your breakfast menu. And then after saving a draft, I'm going to open this with Elementor. All right, so we have an original page right here that we want to copy, and then the new page that you want to create out of this right here. So I'm going to head over to the original page and scroll right down here and just on this box here this gray box right click and say copy all content so we have copy all content right here so click on that and then head over to the new page we just created and then again in this box right here just right click anywhere and click paste so give it a few seconds and you should get the whole content from the original page right here. And which you can of course start editing. So let's call this breakfast menu. And then of course you can change the entire uh, text right here and the images to have your new page. So that's just one of the many ways. And then, so the second, way you would do this is by creating a template so let's just close this so maybe let's just head over to the, to the dashboard and i show you this other method and actually this method is suitable for especially if you're going to create a lot of pages out of this same layout assuming i'm going to create so many menus using this same layout what I would do is I would create a template. So to create a template, just head over to this little icon here and click Save Options. And then click Save as a template. Give this a name, let's say, uh, let's call it Master Menu, something like that. You can, actually, you can of course give it a different uh, appropriate name depending on what you're doing. Right, so now we have our template saved and we can go back to our to create again a new page so you can follow the same steps create a new page let's call this a dessert menu and then save a draft before you click edit with elemental and again on your blank page on your blank new page just click on this uh, icon the folder icon which is add template then click my templates and then you can just insert your template that you just saved so click insert click yes and again you have a copy of your original page right here all right, so the final method is actually using a, a plugin. And then this method actually is a very easy one and it's actually faster. Let's go ahead and I, I show you how you would use a plugin to do the same. So I'm going to exit to the dashboard again. So we need to install actually the plugin. So go, go under plugins and click add new. 
a plugin name is duplicate post so let's set a plugin here it's actually this plugin with over 3 million active installs so click install now and then activate the plugin now head over to pages or posts assuming you you want to duplicate a post in my case it's pages so i'm going to pages or pages and now this is the page that i want to duplicate so now you notice that when you hover on, on a page item you get to have a new option which is clone of course on any page that you hover here you actually get to see the option clone so let's go ahead and clone this dinner menu just click clone this item and after clicking that i'm not sure why it took me to posts but if we go back to pages we should have a copy of a dinner menu right here with a draft so this is the one that has actually been cloned so we can go ahead and change the the name for this so let's just click quick edit call this let's call this lunch menu then just update this so you now have a new copy of the dinner menu which actually looks exactly the same as this so let's go ahead and just take a look let's open this and this so this is the dinner menu and this is the lunch menu so you can of course start from here to change the text and the images and so you have a new page out of the original one all right so that's that let me know which method worked for you the best in the comment section below